All right. Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Gwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who teach well. Much peace and mercy to the hopeful elect, you brothers and you sisters, wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord Yahweh to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from this captivity. To you, I say Shalom. And this is going to be a, a little lamb back off of this life. The apostle, the, uh, the apostles did yesterday going live. And, um, you know, they have a few topics that they're going into. And um, this this is one of the topics, um, you know, the spirit, you know, I just decided to do a little, you know, studying, going into certain words. And, you know, I'm just bring it out. Lord willing, it's edifying and exhorting in the spirit. So I'm going to start this. Romans 14 and 5. Let me go back. Yep. Okay. So like I lost. No, no, no. It's all good. Okay. Bring it back up. Yep. Romans 14 verse 5. One man esteemeth one day above another. Mm -hmm. Another esteemeth every day alike. Mm -hmm. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Right. Now I looked up that word persuaded in the Greek. I don't know if you're able to hear that. Why is this thing up? <clears throat> That's why. One more time. Strong's G forty one thirty five. Play Rafa Rayo. Play Rafa Rayo. Right, and you heard it says to bear or bring full. To make full, fully persuaded, right? To fulfill the ministry. Check this out. To fulfill the ministry in every part. So you can't take no uh, uh, days off. You right. can't take no. Uh, you can't take off. Period. Vacations. All right. No yeah, vacations. Right. No yeah. sabbaticals. Yeah. You know, put your garment in the closet for a period of time. Then right. when you feel like it, bring out your garment right. and dust the dust off of it and put right. it back on. Now you're a Hebrew Israelite. Mm -hmm. You can't take any time off. I wish I never took no time off. Mm -hmm. The Apostle Paul never took no time off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once you committed to this. You are committed. That's it. Mm -hmm. You're in. Yeah. Okay. To fulfill the ministry in every part. So I just wanted to show that little small clip, you know, and our apostles show that consistently, man. Con they consistently put in the work. They consistently go out there on the highways and byways, post videos. You see, they are a great example of how we should conduct ourselves in this truth. And we as, as you know, especially speaking for myself as a young man in this truth, you know, we should look at this example and, and you know, mimic it to the, to the point of, you know, they brought out Philippians 2 and 12, seek out your own salvation with, with fear and trembling, not because of uh, vainglory or to be a man pleaser, but because it is our, our duty as it reads in uh, Romans the 12th chapter. You see, it is our, our reasonable service. So, you know, I just did a little um, little note taking and I'm gonna I'm go through it. Romans 14 and five, I'm gonna read it as well. One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. So that word, fully persuaded, which you, read, uh, you heard the other Apostle Gabar, bring out um play re fa reo um it says to cause a thing to be shown to its fullness uh to fulfill the ministry in every part right and 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 to fulfill the ministry in every part you know that resonated you know in my spirit i'm thinking like okay so how do you fulfill the ministry in every part and the first precept that came to mind was revelation 19 and 10 and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. You see, now let's go to, um, let's actually go to the blue letter. Because I, I looked it up at, on the blue letter. Let's go to the 10th verse. And let's look up the word for testimony. 
um, testimony, a testifying one, what, what one testifies testimony before a judge, a report or a record, you see a witness. So now when you go here, let's go here and let's just define it because these two things, they link up. To find testimony in just the regular dictionary, it says testimony a formal, written or spoken statement, especially one given in a court of law, evidence or proof provided by the existence or appearance of something. And who appeared on the scene two thousand years ago to to not only die for the 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 elections, um, and 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 adopt the elect back to the father. You see, he came. That, that was Yahweh Shai. <laughs> he came. He he had a mission and a duty, and he fulfilled it. You see, and we have the evidence. The evidence is the word, man. That's why when you read Revelation, the first chapter, uh, well, Revelation one and one, it says the revelation of Yahweh Shai, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record, you see, that word record, of the word of the Most High and of the testimony of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, and of all things that he saw. So not only is it a record, but he also um, is also a testimony of Yahweh Shai, man. When you read the, the first five books of the New Testament, you got Matthew, you got Mark, Luke, you got John, you got the book of Acts. You see? These are, are the the records which which is the witness, you see, and the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Without those records, you know, we we how will we come back into the, the faith? That's why the Lord he he had men, you know, write write certain things down. Uh let's get that. Romans Five and four for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope you see so these things were written for a reason these things are put in the scriptures to build our faith so that we can fully trust in the lord man and when the time comes all hell breaking loose famine death destruction pestilences we know damn this is the heavenly father doing this man there's nothing to fear. If you're right, if you're doing uh, that which is according, you know, to, to the Heavenly Father's will, you know, repenting, walking in this way to the best of your ability, then what do you have to fear, man? That's why we hope and pray that we be of the elect, man, because the elect is going to have a sincere heart in this thing. So let's go back. And this is a lunchtime video. So, Salaki, if I'm moving a little fast, I only got a, a small amount of time. So this is... Um, because it says to fulfill the ministry in every part, right? When you fulfill something, the Yahweh Shai said it's done, right? He, he he came to fulfill certain prophecies that needed to come to pass at that time. But but there's still more prophecies, right? That's why I brought out the Revelation 19 and 10. Because prophecy is the most important part of the puzzle. Without the prophecies, you won't, you won't fully understand what's going on, man. Without the history, you won't fully understand what's going on. You need you need the entire book. That's why he said, "Lo, I come through the volume of the book. It is written of me." This is Acts twenty and twenty seven in verse twenty eight. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High. You see, so we don't we don't shy away from the the, the grievous topics, the grape, you know, uh, uh, men having multiple wives, uh, um, you Edomites going into slavery. We don't shy away from these things, man. Us not hate uh, us. Oh, uh, we don't hate Edomites. God hate Edomites. No, we hate Edomites, man. Even David said it. I hate them with a perfect hatred, man. Take heed, therefore, unto unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of the Most High, which He hath purchased with His own blood. You see, so we have to we have to hey we have to do our duties, man. You know. You can't put your hand on the plow and then turn away. You can't you can't uh, 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 call on the name of the Lord for a few years in His truth and then 
go back to, to JC. You see, because you got men in Israel right now who used to call on the name of the Lord, who used to break it down. And now that they have a congregation and a following and they're making a lot of money, they forsook the name of the Lord, man. Then this is another way to fulfill every part of the ministry. Second Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show thyself approved unto the most high. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You see? When you rightly divide the word of truth, you're fulfilling the ministry in every part. That means you're you're speaking that which is right, which is correct. You're not going off. And if you do go off, you get corrected. And then you you move forward from there. Because, you know, we all have, you know, it's a slip of the tongue. You, you might have, you know, uh, um, thought something was the case and then it wasn't. And then you were corrected. And now you now you know what, what the deal is. But some men, they believe a certain a certain thing. It might be the smallest thing. And, and, and if they get corrected on it. They they bug out. Oh no, man, this ain't that. Though, all that, that. But guess what? It's not. It's not the truth. The earth is not flat. There is no a uh, uh, a woman God in the heavens. God is not a woman, man. And this damn show ain't the black woman. You see? And all kind of fucking goofy shit, man. There is no a uh, uh, hell underneath the earth where you burn forever. You have to rightly divide the word of truth. So with all of that, you have to continue in this thing, man. Scripture say, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. First Peter or second Peter. This is Philippians 2 and 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only. Because you got a lot of you got a lot of men pleasers, man. You're going to act like this in, in, in front of certain men. And then in front of other men, you act completely different. You see? But when you're a, a, a sincere person is going to act the same way, man. You're going to be the same way. If you're sincere, you're going to be sincere. If you're a fraud, <laughs> you're going to be exposed. Not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You got to work out your own salvation, man. <laughs> No one's brother's can, uh, faith can can save you. Only your own faith can save you. The scriptures say, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. You got to endure. Um, let's see here. I think that's pretty much, uh, pretty much it that I have for this. But yeah, hey man, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. You gotta, you gotta be persuaded, man. You gotta know. And if you're not persuaded, you gotta, you gotta pray, pray to the heavenly Father to give you that understanding that this is it. Uh, I think that's James one. Yep, James one and five. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High that give it to all men liberally, and abradeth not. And it shall be given him. But let him act in faith, not wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. You see that? So when you ask the Heavenly Father for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, when you ask him for clarity, when you ask him to allow you to fully understand and, 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 and know this truth, you have to believe that the Heavenly Father is going to do it. You see? Cause you got to think about it, man. There's there's men out there that just don't give a fuck. They don't care. They don't. They don't. They wor this word is grievous to their ears. Count it a blessing that that this music that that is being played on repeat is soothing to your ears. And if you're on the fence, if you're teetering, oh man, I just don't know. It's, it's, it's you have to be fully persuaded, man. Uh, let's see, let's grab that. You got to be fully persuaded. This is Revelation 3 and verse 15. I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would were thou or uh, I would thou were cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm 
and neither cold nor hot I will spew thee out of my mouth. You see? So you got to pick a side, man. Are you going to be on fire for the Lord? Are you going to do do that which is right in the sight of the Heavenly Father? Or are you going to go in the world and, and be a, you know, a, a rapper or whatever? You know? Choose this day who you will serve. We're going to serve you. How about Shemel Shai? So Lord willing, this was edifying. It's like I said, just some, some notes that I took. You know, just going into it a little bit. I want to give all praises again to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Chak Kadash, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Kol Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Until next time, Shalom.